Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today we're gonna talk about how to use the clipboard with Godot. So we're gonna talk about how to actually access the OS clipboard and pull data from it and bring it into Godot. So we're gonna talk about how to copy data to the clipboard, how to paste text from the clipboard, how to paste images to the clipboard, and how to interact with the text edit. So that way we can actually select text in the text edit and copy that text. So that's what I have in store for you guys today. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the way to use your clipboard inside of Godot is actually really easy. So in order to actually interact with the OS's clipboard, so that's Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android, First, we need to create a user interface. Now, you don't have to use a user interface. You can use basically anything that you want, but in my case, I'm gonna use a user interface just because it's gonna make things a little bit easier uh, to create different buttons and things like that. So let's right click our control node. Let's attach a script and just call it clipboard demo. And that's just gonna be a demo for me to show you guys how to actually use your clipboard. Now. Let's first talk about text. So how can I handle text on my clipboard? Well, all we have to do is type func copy text to clipboard. And the way we're going to copy text to our clipboard is by using a display server. Now you would think that would be under OS and that's kind of what I thought too when I started researching this, but it turns out I'm not quite sure exactly why, but it's under display server. So display server dot, and you'll see it already shows it right here, but we'll say clipboard underscore set and we'll be able to set it with some words. So we'll say test words like that and we'll go ahead and save our scene. Now, when we want to copy text to a clipboard, I'll just right click add in a button like so. And I'm going to put this button over here and I'll just say copy to clipboard. And then I'm gonna come in here and do on button down. We'll hit connect. And then I will just call copy text to clipboard. And really, if we wanna make this fancy, we can just say data and then we could probably just do this data and then test words. That way we make it a little bit more uh, generic and a little bit easier for us to use. Now, technically we don't have to do this, but I'm doing it this way. So now if we hit play, you'll see if I click on test words, or I guess copy to clipboard. So I'll click copy to clipboard. And then if I open up my notes here and I create a new note, and then I click control V, you'll notice that it says test words, which is exactly what I put here. So there's no trickery here. If I come in here and I type something like that and I copy it, right? So let me paste, there you go. If I come down here and I click on here, copy to clipboard, and I paste, you'll see it says test words. So that's how we can interact with the clipboard using the display server, that's how we can actually copy data. Now what happens if we want to paste data? Well, all we got to do is type func paste text from clipboard. And all we'll do is we'll just say if display server dot clipboard has, then we can go ahead and paste from our clipboard. So return display server dot clipboard get like that. Else we could just print nothing in clipboard. Now you don't necessarily have to do that, but this basically allows us to pull back if we have something on our clipboard. And then from here, we can go ahead and actually uh, get that data, if that makes sense. So now I can come in here, right click, add in a node, and I'm gonna add in a label here. And I will make it so that when I press a button, so Command D, we're going to right click, disconnect, right click, connect, and we will go and connect that. 
And then we'll just say whenever you press this, dollar sign label dot text is equal to paste text from clipboard. And then we'll come over here. We'll just drag this guy down. We'll come in here, paste from clipboard. And so if we refresh this, you'll see that when we, well, if we have our label in the right spot, which our label is up here. So let's move this guy over here just because it would look better. And we'll hit paste from clipboard and you'll see test words right there. So it pulled it from our clipboard and brought it in. That's really cool, but how can I do like a copy and paste, right? Like a control C or control V. Well, you could just come into Godot here, go to project, project settings, go into input map and say copy like that. Click on this guy, command C, and you'll see it's going to do that. So command C, or in your case, it's going to be control C if you are on a Windows PC. Paste. And we'll come in here and command V hit okay. And there we go. And now all we have to do is just check for that. So we can come into our process up here and say, if input dot is action, just pressed and copy, then copy text to clipboard else. If input is action just pressed paste then paste text from clipboard or it's going to be e l if you'd think that by now i would know but unfortunately i sometimes i make that mistake now it's going to want us to pass in some data here so we'll just say test data and that should work so now if we refresh this you'll see if i hit Command C, Command V. Well, unfortunately it didn't work. So let me see, Command C, copy, copy, paste. It looks like paste might not be working. Let me double check. If I open up my notepad real quick. Yep, that is correct. So that passed in the proper data. So this paste is not running. Else if is action, just pressed paste. I want to make sure that I set up my project settings correctly really quick. Ah, I see. So it's returning back the stuff, but it's not actually doing anything. So that's my fault. So we need to go dollar sign label dot text is equal to paste text from clipboard. And then let's go ahead and retry it. So we'll hit Command C, Command V, test data, copy to clipboard, test words. So you can see when I hit Command V, it changes it. So I can Control C or Command C, Command V, and it will paste that text in there. So perfect, right? That's exactly what we want. But what happens if, let's say, I have a picture of a cat and I copy an image? What happens? Well, let's find out. So if I hit command V, it completely breaks. And the reason why is because it comes back with a object type of nil. And nil means that it is not an object. It doesn't exist. It's not initialized. So that means that something's broken, right? So how do we handle images? Well, all I need to do is say if display server dot clipboard has image colon, then I can actually process that image. So when you want to process an image, all you need to do is say var image colon equals to display server dot clipboard get image. And that's going to return the image that you copied. But now you have an image object and inside of Godot, once you have an image object, you can't really use it for anything until you kind of do some conversion. So let's actually convert it to a texture. We'll say var texture is equal to image texture dot create from image. And then we'll pass in our image like that. And now from here we have a texture and we can actually use that texture. So I'm going to return that texture. Once you have this, then you should be pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna come in here and say, okay, 
when I want to paste, I want to determine if it's an image. And then if it is, I want to process it that way. So if display server dot clipboard has image colon, then paste image from clipboard. Else we know that it's, te it's text. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, obviously this is gonna return back an image, right? We have it right here. It returns back, well, technically it returns back a texture, not an image, but it's basically the same thing. So this means that we need something to put it into. So let's right click, add in a child node. Let's, let's add in a sprite, or if we wanted to, we could also do a, we'll go with a sprite, but you could really do a image rect as well, which is a UI element. So I'm gonna do both. So image or texture rect like that. So I have both of them. And you'll see that I'm gonna drag this guy over here, put it about here-ish. I'm gonna grab my sprite and I'm going to bring it down here. So hopefully we'll have two of the same cat image on both of these guys. So we'll click on this guy and we'll say var texture, is equal to paste image from clipboard and then we'll hit dollar sign sprite 2d dot texture is equal to texture and dollar sign texture rect dot texture is equal to texture and in theory this should just work so if we command c command v we have our test data if i come over to my cat image which is a gigantic cat image i copy it I come into the dough here and I paste. I now have two cat images. Yeah, they're a little large, they're a little overlaying each other, but it does work. You can see if I full screen this, I have two cat images. And the best part is it still works even with my text. Now it's gonna be a little bit hard because my label's not below everything else. So if I move this below, let's see if that helps. There we go, you can see the test data right there. So if I go into my browser, I copy, I tab, alt tab, command V, you can see there's the link and it updated as expected. Hey guys, editor Mitch here. So something I neglected to talk about was how can you actually get the text from a text edit? Because really what good is selecting text if you can't really pull it off of Godot. So if we come in here, we right click add a child node and we type text edit, you'll see that I can make this about this big, give or take, we'll say. And I'm not gonna worry about most of this, but I am going to allow it to wrap just because I would like to allow it to wrap. And if I kinda type a bunch of gobbledygook in here so that way it's got some words you'll see i have a bunch of text here when i want to copy this text what i can do is i can go into my script and instead of doing copy text to clipboard test data i can go dollar sign text edit dot select did text get selected text like that and save that and in theory if we do this like this, and I select this little bit of text here, Command C, and then I go into my notepad, I should pull back that exact data. So I knew that that was probably gonna be a question that was going to be brought up at some point in time was, hey, well, I have a text edit, how can I copy that stuff? And something else to keep in mind, this does not work with copying images. Godot doesn't actually allow for that capability. So unfortunately, it's not inside of Godot at all. It just doesn't exist as a feature. So it's just something to keep in mind. So if you need to copy and paste an image, then you're going to have to probably build your own C++ capability to handle that. But anyway, at this point, you guys have a relatively good understanding of how to interact with the clipboard inside of Godot. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, you know, if you dislike this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I am here to make content for you guys. This video was a viewer suggested video. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below or jump on my GitHub. Link is in the description for that. So if you throw in a ticket there, I will be more than happy to take a look at it. And hey, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below 
or jump on my Discord. Link's in the description for that. And anyone there will be more than happy to help you out. But that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching. I will see you all next time. Thanks.